welcome everyone today we are going to see a very interesting endgame I found in a masters game before we get into that I would like to take a look at this position is this winning or not for white and why? in this position black king is in the corner of the board white can't play something like knight e7 and the only move will be king h8 and now it would be great for white to put the knight on f7 so maybe a move like knight g5 but then we have a problem this is a stalemate what we have on the board so that plan is not going to work also in a position like this we can we can play knight f6 and if black king goes to h8 then they will be made with knight f7 but there is a problem black king can also go to f8 here and there is no mate because black king can escape over e7 so what this means is that in this endgame there is checkmate position but there is no way to force the other king to get into that checkmate position only with mistakes we will be able to win this endgame but the endgame we are going to analyze of this game between Jubojevic as white and Georgiev as black will be a little bit different because white will have a pawn and black will have two knights this means that in some moment we can have the stalemate position if the pawn can't move and then it won't be a stalemate Georgiev is playing as black and it is his turn to play black has two extra knights here but as you know it doesn't seem like it will be easy to win right now black has to take the pawn on h7 white can go to g6 or g4 but after king g4 the knight h6 is winning the rook and the endgame so king g6 is fine it's threatening the rook and the knight and in this moment black plays rook g7 the rook has to take here on g7 because after king takes f5 black can just take the rook and play rook f8 and will be winning with king and rook versus king so in this position rook takes rook knight takes rook and this is the endgame I want to analyze here we have the two knights but as we said white has a pawn and what is going to happen here Yuboyevic plays f4 black brings the king king f6 king c6 king e5 king c5 Yuboyevic goes to f6 I liked king e4 here but it seems like a uh, black could win also in that line king f6 king d6 king d7 king e8 black continues pushing with the king of course we need to use the king in these endgames and here white plays king h7 it seems like king g5 could be better I don't think this was uh, his best game for Jubojevic but now the king is in the corner and this will be much easier I guess black is almost winning here mate is really close actually there are some ways to win in this position uh, let's see how Jeff managed the situation here and now mate in two moves and knight f7 something I want you to remember is that if you have only two knights and there are no more pieces on the board then you won't be able to win unless your opponent makes some very big mistake but if you have two knights and your opponent has a pawn then there are some possibilities that we can create a checkmate net or position 
so there might be a force sequence to do checkmate of course it won't be easy but the, this game between Juvojevic and Georgiev is a good and interesting example about this kind of positions so this is the analysis I wanted to show you today if you want to see more videos like this about interesting endgames give me likes so I can know it and of course I will record more videos about these subjects so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you soon in another video